Our isolation and confinement is sort of the main focus of the entire experiment. You can talk on the radio if you want, then I can understand what you're saying. Okay, have a good walk, guys. leave the dome. Uh, you can wear a hazmat suit and go outside if you'd like and schedule it ahead of time, um, but even then you can only go maybe a mile away before you have to come back. Zero, that gives you guys about two and a half hours from this point to work on the geology task. Best of luck and stay safe down there guys. Good luck. We're not dealing with a lot of the sort of physical aspects. We've got a full earth gravity, there's atmosphere around us, there's not real radiation anywhere, so when it comes to how we're doing everything and how it relates to NASA here, most of it has to do with sort of uh, interpersonal studies, how we all get along, uh, react to one another. So this task is about identifying the kind of cave that would be really good for us to set up shop in. That little city in the bottom is actually Philadelphia. Um, if we had the resources and technology, you could actually build full-on cities with open-air buildings, everything, down in there, and they'd actually fit. If you're lacking an atmosphere, or most of one like on Mars, and can get underground, you've got suddenly meters or more of just solid rock protecting you from cosmic radiation, solar radiation. Essentially, same reason cavemen love caves, they protect you from virtually everything. And this is the maximum length we can get. I would say the lava tube is the best sort of place to test how we're getting along as a team because when we're in the cave, you're much more isolated. You can't always uh, contact the HAPCOM to find out what's going on. It's just sort of a, the biggest test of what the crew can go through up here in any sort of a safe manner. How was it? I got to climb a bunch of walls, like throw rocks and sit with That was fun. <laughs> Nobody's really done it like this before, so uh, I think all the prior missions, like the longest one ended at eight months, so when we get to eight months in a week, will we all suddenly wear our pants on our head and fight with foam swords in the living room the entire day? We'll find out. New experiments, new cave explorations, new geology tasks. I think the most exciting part of all of this is that we get to learn things that are really going to inform a future Mars mission. That's incredible to me.